Farmers were not prepared to allow any milk out of natural dairies today. Negotiations to allow a supply out for local delivery broke down and tempers flared on both sides when dairy employees attempted to load a small delivery van. Farmers tried to physically prevent them from getting to the van with the milk, blocking their path. There were angry words and scuffles as dairy staff tried to push through and get the milk into the van. Gardaí trying to calm the situation arrested three farmers, all of them from County Meath. They were later released, giving a commitment not to return to the blockade. A file is being prepared for the Director of Public Prosecutions. Afterwards, a spokesman for the farmers apologised for the incident. It was something we would not have wished to happen, but when you have two groups of people in close physical contact, those things happen, and we regret it, but there's no harm done, I hope. It has been said here already today that you're prepared to go to jail over this cause. Yes, but not on a cause of that sort. On a principle, it's a different thing, but certainly what happened was regrettable. It shouldn't have happened and I would simply apologise to anyone that was involved. But on the broader picture, it, it's obviously an indication of how strongly you feel about this. I mean, are you prepared to go the whole way and go to jail if it takes it to make your point? If it takes it, so be it. I hope it won't. I'd be much happier outside than inside. But, you know, if it has to be, so be it. IFA President Tom Parlin called on Dunn's stores to take responsibility for the conflict between individual farmers and the dairy, which he says supplies Dunn's with the loss leader milk at the centre of this dispute. Earlier, dairy employees who are on protective notice claimed the reckless actions of farmers endangered their families and mortgages. Things have calmed here this evening as the blockade moves into the weekend. However, despite three injunctions having been obtained in the course of the week, a resolution of the situation here remains elusive. Eileen Magner, RTE News, Convoy.